Hello everybody, this is Mary Ann again. Today I wanted to show you the new two pages per day chronodex sheets that I have designed for my Philofax. I have already explained to you what the chronodex is in my previous videos and um, I just want to say again that the chronodex is the creation of Patrick Nang. I will link his blog down below and the files are available for download from his blog for free. Just make sure that you let him know how you're using it because he's very interested to know how the Chronodex is making other people more productive. And there is a discussion page on Flickr on, and on Facebook and on the Fountain Pen Network that you can join so you can share your ideas there and you can talk more about um, how to about the many different types of time management and how the Chronodex is effective for you. So, um, just a short background. This is where I'm coming from. This is my current Chronodex. It is going to end on September 2. I'm using it on the gridded paper of the Midori Traveler's Notebook. This is the Midori Traveler's Notebook, regular size. It's uh, in the brown color. And um, I like the Chronodex because it gives me a visual representation of how I spent my time and I shade it using uh, different colors for the five different areas of my daily life. So um, just view my other videos to, to know how I used it. So this Chronodex ends on September 1 because it's the end of the notebook and I have actually prepared, um, I've actually prepared something for the Filofax, like this is the one that I prepared. It will start on September 2. But you know what? The page per day chronodex, the page per day chronodex is really just not going to work because look at how full some of my days are. I didn't even bother to shade that because there were no time um, specifications on the tasks, so I didn't need to shade anything on the chronodex but some days are really just crazy and like this one the thing about the chronodex is that you need space around it it needs the space around it so you can put your notations on what that time is for i don't know how you use it you, you don't have to write notations of course but for me i need to write the notations there like here there's an arrow like how I spend that purple time so I need the space so this is just not going to work so I need two pages per day so what I did was um, I uh, I went on ahead and went to my InDesign it's how I usually do my Chronodex pages I've also made a video on how I did that and um, I wanted to have different I wanted to have different um, fixed areas in the page for the important um, details of my life that I have to keep track of per day. So what I did was um, I subscribed to Shutterstock.com. I have a subscription there. It's um, for a fixed price for every month. You are eligible to download uh, photographs, high resolution photographs, royalty free photographs that you can use in your designs and your digital layouts. And uh, they also have vectors for free and they are royalty free. So I went on ahead and grabbed some vectors. Like this is composed of a frame and then a glass vector that I grabbed from Shutterstock. I downloaded it from my account and then I just placed eight glasses there because I really do have to monitor my water intake um, because I have to make that a habit. This is actually part of my 30 day challenge. One of the habits is to drink at least eight glasses of water a day. So I downloaded the frame and then the glass vector and then I put it there. And I just didn't put it in the layout first because I wanted to know how it would actually look like. And then I went on ahead and took um, another different frame and I just typed in using a, a font called Tecton Pro. I also downloaded it from another account that I had uh, it was a long time ago but I have accounts all over the place in order to get um, elements for my layouts. So I downloaded this. It's Tecton Pro. I will put the name of the font in the description page. So I took another vector frame and then 
this pertains to the seven the seven different uh, um, activities in my daily routine that I have to absolutely do like one of them is to drink eight glasses of water a day and then another one is to exercise and another one is to uh, work on my novel for at least two hours a day so that's that and then I just I, I, I had to print them out like this so I can move it around here I'm not very good at working with digital layouts and this is a, a, a size a paper size that I'm not very used to yet so I need to see it in person first and then I went on ahead and downloaded this vector of a book and then another vector frame and then I put them together I wanted this to to be the place where I write down um, what I read for that day like for now I'm reading Proust and it takes a really long time to read Proust but I would like to chart my uh, progress so I will write there every day Proust and then the locations on my Kindle that I have read for the day like location 1250 to 1450 something like that so I want that to be there every day so that I can see that every day it's moving so it encourages me and then I got this this is the area for what I'm going to note down some reminders about my son's schedule what he has for the day so that I won't forget and then I can put that there and then something else I, I've been thinking about putting an area where I can chart the things I spent for for the day so I can I can just move that around and I also did this this is just another vector frame and then I use the same font it's for a birthday I can probably place that there and then put the name of the person who's celebrating his birthday for the day and then for example if it's a holiday I can put also that there or if it's just a holiday for the day and no one is celebrating his birthday it's just here and then I have to know why it's a holiday, like if it's Bonifacio Day or if it's National Heroes Day or something. Because I want to know what is going on, why it's a holiday. So, there. So that has been my process. And then after I have decided on what to actually put, I went on ahead and laid it out. So, this is what I have finally decided on. This is my 8 glasses of water a day. This is my 7 habits seven routinary daily routine habits and this is my uh, reading progress this is for my son and this is for my expenses and then when I put that there it looks okay and then if you add the birthday thing where is the birthday thing it still looks okay and I will still have time to uh, I will still have space to you know write down all the other notes and tasks and reminders that I have for that day but these things are pretty much standard and if no one is celebrating his birthday for that day I can just not put this here so I went and did that and here is the finished product I used uh, what did I use I used this. This is the Delta Premium Ivory Paper in 8.5 by 11. And I just cut it to A5 size. And then I printed that back to back. So I'm left with this. And then I had the printer cut this down to the personal size. So, um, as you can see, I still have placed my color code and I have added a black color because. Most of the things that I need to note down are personal things, reminders to myself. So the page often ends up looking too pink. And um, I wanted to shift to black for listing down things. But when I shade things on my Chronodex and it's personal, then that's when I will use the pink. I will no longer use too much pink because it's too pink. <laughs> so this is how the spread looks like. As you can see, I do have more spaces, like it's September 2, and somebody's celebrating his birthday on here, so I, I can write his name down there, and then I already have an appointment for September 2. That is already fixed. That is not going to change. However, I have the space to list down all the other crazy things that are happening and have happened for that day, and I have space to list down my other standard
fixed stuff. It looks small, but it's okay. I can I can work with that. I've actually tried writing on here. Like for example, see this? It's right here. After I'm done with one habit, I can, you know, check that. Check. So if I forgot to do this for some reason, I can just cross that out and so it works. And then for my um, first um, glass of water for the day, I can just shade that. See? It's pretty. And then here I can write Proust, location, one zero, something, something. And this is for the expenses for the day and reminders about my son. So that's it. This is the um, page that I have come up with. See? So you can see the difference. Here is my old one. You can really see the difference between the two. Just look at the amount of writing space in there. This is just one page per day. This is two pages per day. So I hope I gave you some good ideas here. Um, I like doing my own planner pages because um, I have tried working with all the others that are out there and they just didn't work out for me and I end up I always end up drawing little boxes for the things that always happen every day but I have to keep track of so this works for me and um, uh, so there and by the way I have pe rose petals on my desk today because it's my birthday and my significant other took me here this morning and he walked me to my office and then all of a sudden I saw that the path to my table was strewn with roses, rose petals, and there was a big huge bouquet of roses on my desk and then there were petals strewn all over my desk so I'm not cleaning it up yet. <laughs> so this is my birthday and I'm sharing with you my idea for the two pages per day chronotex. I hope you like it and I hope you can make use of some of the ideas that I have here. So until next time, thank you for watching. Bye!